Hi, I'm Mrs. Van Dievender with Lee Virtual School, and I'm going to share with you today how to set up a GenBook appointment. So what GenBook is, is a way to set up your appointments with your teachers for either your monthly calls um, or discussion-based assessments, or DBAs is what we call them. Um, also, if you have any other questions and you need to set an appointment with your teacher, you can do that as well. So I had to set up a, a specific live lesson with one of my students because he was not understanding how to use Excel. Completely fine for something like that as well, but mostly for monthly calls and DBAs. So I'm going to share with you my screen and take you through this process. So what it's going to show you first is um, something that will look like one of your classrooms. So I'm gonna to go to my journalism class. So if this is my journalism class or your journalism class, then you basically have this exact same homepage. Um, you may need to click on your homepage to get there, but you can see that all of my classes, this digital information technology, they basically have the same setup. So I'm going to click here for the teacher's website to access the page charts and important information. Click there first. And again, it doesn't matter what page you went into because they're basically all set up the exact same. So whether it's teacher to teacher or um, class to class. So you're going to scroll down on your teacher's website. Here's my contact information, tech support, by the way. And then you see make an appointment. This is the GenBook icon. So click book now to make an appointment with one of your teachers. So you would click here and you can see that you have, you can set up a welcome call, you can set up a monthly call. Um, these are especially used for DBAs because when you get to the point in your page chart where it says discussion-based assessment, this is going to be important in there. So you're going to set up your own DBAs each, um, in each module or whenever you come to a DBA in your page chart with each of your teachers. Um, you can also set up that monthly call. So it's important that we talk to mom or dad or um, any kind of parent or guardian when we talk to you each month. So every 30 days we need to speak to you. So we try to do that during a DBA, but if you need to set up a separate monthly phone call, that's fine too. You can schedule right here. So you can see here that if you're K through five, you'll click here, six through 12, you'll click here. So you're going to click on um, one of your teacher's name or wh whichever one that you're that you're needing your monthly call or your DBA so I'm going to go with monthly call right now because you don't know when you're going to have a DBA but you do know that you do need to speak to each teacher every 30 days so now you can see a list of all of the teachers and they are in alphabetical order by last name uh, although I don't know why Miss Downey's all down here by herself so you would click on one of your teachers. So what I'd like you to do, just go with me right now where I'm going to show you, but we're going to click on me, um, but then I'm going to have a little task for you afterwards. So you are going to set up a monthly call. Um, so you can see here that these are the times that I have on Tuesday, December 12th. I can change the date. Okay, so if those times aren't good for me, maybe a Wednesday evening would be good for me. Okay, so they usually go by 15 or 20 minute increments. So you can click here. So whenever you can see that you wanna schedule your time, that is how you're going to do that. So say we're gonna go for 4.40 on Thursday, December 14th. You're going to come in here and type in your first and last name. Now, if you're setting up a monthly call, it would be super helpful if you would go ahead or if your parent is setting up a monthly call to go ahead and put your name in as the student, but then maybe in the special request, put in your parent's um, name. So my name, my mom's name is Amy and her last name is Marshawn. So um, my teacher wouldn't know who I was if I was scheduling Amy Marshawn as a monthly call. But if I say Amy Marshawn, mom, then the teacher is going to probably figure out that you are the student, okay, and you need to put in your contact information. So if I'm going to have my um, teacher call me, then I need to have that information put in. And then you also have an email address that you're going to put in. So it's important that you do this as well. It is also important if 
you have more than one class with a, with one specific teacher. So I do have several classes um, that I teach and several different students who are in more than one. So it's really helpful for me as the teacher that if you go ahead and just put in the class, so um, foundations of web design it is very helpful for me as well. So then you'll click continue. And you can see this is only doing this. You don't have all the time in the day to figure this out, but you can. It's only doing this for the next like three minutes. Um, but you can see here what information I have. My hours are eight to eight. The thing with GenBook is that you can set your schedule up to t um, 30 days in advance. So for monthly calls, really helpful, especially for DBAs as well, because a lot of times you, if you um, make yourself a schedule, which we're going to go over in another video, um, then you can figure out when or at least what week you're going to be on what lesson. And scheduling those DBAs sometimes gets very difficult and very tricky because you can only schedule um, one per day per teacher. So you can schedule more than one um, with different teachers, but only one per day. So for example, I have students who are just now finishing up and I had one today and I have another one tomorrow with the same child. So we could not do two at the same phone call. Okay, so I didn't mean to confuse you guys, but um, so you have up to 30 days that you can schedule that in advance. So that is most convenient for you. You'll click continue and you have scheduled an appointment with that teacher. So going back to collaborate, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Hi, I'm back and you have your very first assignment. So here is your assignment. I'm going to have you go into your social studies teacher's classroom. Then what are you going to do? What was the next step that I did? Very good. You're going to click where it says click on their website. So click on that teacher's website. Then next, make an appointment. We'll click, there is an icon. It says, um, what did that say? Make an appointment, click now, GenBook. Can't remember exactly what it says. Let's go see what it says right now. So click here to go to my website contact information, book now, that was it. So that is what you're looking for. So book now. And then again, you need to find out your teacher's name, although it was right there on that classroom website. So find the specific social studies class that you have. Okay, so you should have all your classes right here. And you find that social studies teacher. And I want you to go ahead and set your monthly call because you should have just completed a monthly call or you should be completing a monthly call very, very soon. But go ahead and schedule another monthly call with that teacher in the next 30 days. So you must schedule a monthly call. With your social studies teacher. and then your social studies teacher will sign off for you. Okay, I hope you've had a, a pleasant experience with this, and I think you will find that you're going to be doing this uh, enough that you'll become experts at this. Thanks for joining.